Long ago, in the western interior parts of Anatolia, there was a lunar god named Men. He was highly revered by the people of the region and was worshipped in various forms, including Meneskinos and Menfarnico. Men was often associated with Persianate elements, particularly the goddess Anahita. The moon was an essential element of Men's iconography, with the crescent rising behind his shoulders. According to mythology, Men was responsible for overlooking the months. The Phrygians recognized Men as a local god, as stated by Strabo. It is believed that Men's influence was due to the Zoroastrian lunar divinity, Ma. The people of Anatolia had great respect for Men and his divine powers. Men's followers believed that he watched over them, guiding them through the lunar phases and cycles. Men's role as a god of the moon and months made him a significant figure in the religious and cultural beliefs of the Anatolian people. Over time, Men's worship changed. Temples dedicated to him were built, and rituals were performed in his honor. Despite the changes, Men remained a vital figure in Anatolian mythology and culture. His legacy continued to influence the worship of other gods and beliefs in the region for centuries to come. Once upon a time in Anatolia, there was a deity named Men who was indigenous to the region. Later, when the Romans arrived, they welcomed Men into their pantheon and referred to him as a Phrygian god. Interestingly, the Roman depictions of Men showed him dressed in a belted tunic and a Phrygian cap, often standing alongside bulls and lions in their religious artworks. Some noted similarities between Men and Mithras, who also appeared wearing the same cap and was frequently depicted with a bull, symbols of the sun and moon. According to the Augustan history, Roman Emperor Caracalla was known to worship Lunas at Cary, which some believed could refer to a Latinized name for Men. Conversely, in certain local beliefs recorded in the same source, those who viewed the moon as a feminine deity would always be subjected to women, while those who saw the moon as masculine would dominate their wives. Some historians believe that Caracalla may have even visited the Temple of Sin, the Mesopotamian moon god. As time went on, Men's association with Attis of Phrygia and Sabasius of Thrace grew stronger. Do you want to explore more Greek mythology stories? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.